Here's an easy way to remove most security tags from your clothes. I recently purchased a variety of security tags from eBay for security research purposes. See how these tags have similar shapes? Most security tags are held together using a pin and latch mechanism. It's pretty easy to find the location of this mechanism, just look for where the tag has a bulge. The pin is held in by a strong force and is usually released by magnets, but other tags use a probe to release the pin. If you don't have a super strong magnet, there are other methods to remove security tags. One of the easy ways is to use heat. Melting the bulge will expose the mechanism and then you can pry it out. I've seen a lot of people use lighters to melt the tag, but today I'm using a soldering iron which allows me to be in control of the process and I'm not creating as much of a mess as if I were to use a lighter. This is an old soldering iron that I only use for odd projects. I'm also using this fan to blow the smoke away from my face. This vise is a very valuable tool and I'm using it to hold the tag so I can be more precise and keep my hands out of the way from the hot tip of the soldering iron. I melt around the tip and start on the right side to dig out a good chunk of plastic. Then I move to the left side and repeat the process. It's a slow task. The footage you're watching is sped up by a factor of four. Next, I move to the front and take my time because I'm not in a hurry to do this experiment. The fan is doing a good job of keeping the smoke out of my face. Then I move to the back and this is where it gets better. As I melt the plastic in this location, do you notice the small piece of metal starting to emerge? I melt away a little more plastic around the edges before moving my soldering iron to focus on the mysterious metal located in the center of the tip. I use the soldering iron to lift it up and guess what? It's a spring! We can now see there's even more metal inside. It's a metallic cylinder and if you look closely, it appears we can see the pin as well. I melt around the circumference of the cylinder and dig my iron down a bit to lift it up. As I pull up, the cylinder pops out and whoa, what do we see now? There are four metal balls beneath the cylinder and the pin is in the center. I believe we're done melting plastic, so I remove the tag from the vise. Now I'm going to dump out the metal balls to get a closer look at them. They kind of remind me of BBs. I wonder if they're the same size. Next, I remove the cylinder and now I'm able to see if I'm able to slide out the pin. I take a quick glance to make sure there are no obstructions. And here we go. Success! There is no damage to the cloth or pin. This process was easier than expected. It's very interesting how this pin and latch mechanism works. The spring forces the metal cylinder up, which forces the balls to pinch against the pin, holding it in place. When a magnet is placed on the tag, the cylinder and spring are pulled down and the balls no longer pinch the pin, allowing it to slide out. What other removal methods do people use for security tags? Subscribe for more.